Hey, thanks for watching this video called Three Ways to Get More Chips in Tournaments. And guess what I'm going to talk to you about? I'm going to give you three ways to get more chips in tournaments. My name's Nick Welthall from Transform My Poker. And I'm sure you've had the frustrating experience of sitting in a tournament where you've been doing well early on, but then in the middle stages, you go card dead, you can't seem to work out how to make chips, and you end up going out before the money or just creeping in and making a small cash. That's not what I want for you. I want for you to get to the final table more often. So how do we do it? Well, every tournament is different with different situations, but there are three keys that you really need to be doing to give yourself the best chance to accumulate chips. Number one is focus. Focus. It's very, very important that as the blinds raise, your attention, your focus, and your level of play goes up. Too many people put too much energy into the start of tournaments and then become disheartened in the middle stages of tournaments when things aren't going their way. Don't let that be you. The way to accumulate chips is to first of all figure out what the other players at your table are doing. Remember, the whole tournament is not what you're playing. You're just playing your table and your opponents. So focus like a laser beam on those opponents. Make sure you're aware of their stack size. Ask yourself how they're approaching this stage of the tournament and then ask yourself, how can I make chips from them? So you're constantly looking for opportunities, not just waiting for big hands. Focus is everything in tournament poker. All right, key number two is to steal. Steal, 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 steal. You cannot steal enough in the middle stages of a tournament. By stealing, I mean open raising to try and win the blinds and antes in the middle. As we go through the tournament, the blinds go up and they become bigger in relation to players' stack sizes. That means winning the pot is more and more significant as we go through the tournament. And just picking up the blinds and antes can make a big difference to your stack size and to how far you go in the event. It's really important, therefore, to be active. When you have a stack of over 25 or 30 big blinds, not when you get short stack, things change, but when you've got a medium or big stack, you really need to be active putting pressure on the blinds and trying to pick up as many pots as possible, either pre-flop or on the flop. If you're not getting the tournament results you want right now, I'm almost certain that you won't be stealing enough, especially in late position when you have tight players uh, in the blinds or on the button and you're in the hijack or the cutoff or on the button yourself. You really want to be opening a ton of pots. I'm sure you're not doing it enough really expand your opening range and start stealing everything that isn't nailed down in a tournament. All right, key number three is the re-steal. It's like the steal's older, bigger brother, the re-steal. Now, the bad news is some other players know about this. Unfortunately, it's not a secret that you can steal the blinds and antis in a tournament. But that creates an opportunity for you because if other players are opening the pot with weak hands to try and steal the blinds, then you can put pressure on them. So every time in the middle stages there's a raise in front of you, you should ask yourself, does this player have a wide range of hands? Is he stealing a lot of the time? Is he being loose and aggressive and putting pressure on the blinds? If so, I can put pressure on him because he's not very often going to have a strong hand. You do that by re-raising, three-betting, by re-stealing. Now, if you've got more than 30 big blinds, you can do this and you're not moving all in and you're putting a lot of pressure on your opponent. So constantly look for these opportunities where you can get a fold because if you pick up the blinds and antes and the opening raise or he calls you and then you win the pot on the flop, you're going to be picking up an awful lot of chips and that's what makes the difference. Every player gets dealt aces and kings about the same amount of time so your strategy can't be just to wait for big hands. You have to have ways to accumulate chips, keep building your stack Oh, and by the way, if you are being aggressive and stealing and re-stealing, you're much more likely to get paid on your big hands because your opponents will see you as loose and not having anything. So it works like that as well. These are the keys to accumulating chips in the middle stages of tournaments. Re-stealing especially works incredibly well if you have been tight for a while and haven't been playing too many hands because players will view you as having a, um, a tight image and having a strong hand. So if you're watching this thinking, yeah, but I always go card dead and I don't know what to do. Well, try a re-steal bluff because your image will almost certainly allow you to get it through if you've been sitting there not playing hands. All right, I hope this information helped you out a ton and you get to the final table a lot more often. If you've enjoyed this video, then do subscribe it by either hitting this button or you can hit underneath the video and I will make sure I tell you when there's another strategy video out to help your game. 
If you'd like to take your game to the next level and really reach that final table more regularly and get those consistent tournament results you want, then click this link and come over to my website where you can enter your email and sign up for a free series of advanced training videos that'll give your game a massive jump forward. All right, go and kill it in tournaments. I'll talk to you again in another one of these very soon.